Hello everyone, welcome back to another session with me. This is Sanyukta Saxena and today we are going to be learning two more new tangles issued by CZTs. The first tangle that we are going to be learning today is called pork lilies. Yes, we know pork roots, we know pork leaves. Today is uh, the time to learn pork lilies by CZT Eva Wu, right? So I'm going to draw a shape like this. Yeah? And then I'm going to bring down stems like this. And then I'm going to join this here. And then insert a stem like this, the seed. And the tangle is called poke lily. Yeah. So the first stroke that I've drawn is this curve. A beautiful curve yeah almost like muka just that the second stem is omitted here bring down these two again come down and join it here and the seed of the lily that's the beautiful tangle poke lily yeah the second tangle that we are going to be learning today by CZT Carol Ohal is called Tink. Yes, it is a very geometric kind of a tangle. So if you want, you can start it with a grid. But once you have enough practice, I don't think you would need a grid to draw this tangle. So I am drawing a square grid here just for reference and to show you how does the placing of orbs happen here, right? So again, in between these two, one more. Again, the second layer. Again, in between these two, one more. Again, the third layer. Right? So this is one line and this is another line. And these orbs are in between these two. Yeah? Once you are done with those orbs, you just have to connect them. Like this double lines yeah so it's not necessary that you draw this tangle in a grid you can draw it any which ways I'll just give you an example you can always draw random orbs and then connect them by these double lines the lines can go under, over, any which ways you want to. So that would be a kind of a crazy version, right? So once you have drawn this, it is up to you. If you want, you can add more lines inside. But that's optional. You can add something else inside, some other tangle. You can aura inside and then add something else. Right, so this is how the tangle thing goes, and you can always highlight these orbs also by converting them into caviars, black pearls, whatever you want. If you want to draw a crazy version, then probably you will not think about where to draw the orbs, and you will just keep connecting like this. And you can also draw behind, right? So you can always go under and connect these two. You can draw like this, draw like this, whichever way you wish to draw. Yeah, so in that case, it will just go in about any direction. So that's the tangle Tink, and this is the tangle Poke Lily. Yeah, so today again we'll be drawing a tile together using these two tangles, probably one or two more tangles to support. Yeah, so I'm now going to start with my border. So with a sense of gratitude and appreciation, yeah, I thought there are two. <laughs> Just put your border in place with a very light hand, free hand, like this, yeah. And then I'm going to start, probably I'm going to draw a band here running through my tile in between somewhat in between for reference yeah and then I'm going to start with my tangles right away so let's get started starting first with poke lily
bring it down here yeah if you want you can also add a fold so those kind of enhancements are always possible again going with the second one bring the stems down here and then join it here yeah you and you can give a fold here so that's your wish how do you want to again going to draw behind take your time join it here want to give a fold you can yeah again i'm going to add probably a fragment in between here something like this a circle some lines emanating there from from the center with some weight at the end it's kind of a fragment you can add pepper you can add any other tangle of your choice i'm just keeping it simple here Yeah. Again going to add one more. Bring it down. Take your time. Yeah. So if you want you can add some mukas to go along. These are optional. to complement your main tangle if you wish to you can if you don't you can just do away with it or you can add some other tangles so going to add that fragment here again take your time keep rotating your tile small spaces in between you can always add some tipples caviars bronx cheers black pearls yeah you can use any filler tangle you wish to so i'm now going to extend it add some more flowy mukas again add a lily there take your time yeah so i'm just drawing randomly not thinking much where what so going to continue like this you can always add one more tangle which will look nice here is base which is again a zentangle original so i have drawn a flux shape added some auras inside and then added an inked aura inside the last aura is inked yeah so these are tangles just to go along with my flower tangle which is the pork lily so you can choose your own so i'm still continuing to draw in the same fashion adding a mix of tangles whatever you feel like please go with that pork lilies are very organic tangle it's a flower it looks like a flower actually inspired from the nature the lilies 
yeah so I'm going to continue like this so you can see here I'm taking support of similar tangles which go well with my flower tangle organic in nature flowy you can add sprinkles you can add any any other tangle of your choice feel free to choose your own whatever you feel like yeah so again I'm going to add some nice space you can add flux I mean they will look nice feel free to add some tipples caviars some weights here and there yeah you can add some to the mocha so draw at your own pace fill up the entire band that we have drawn in between our tile yeah so I'm just going to add bits and bits here I think that's about it we don't need to we'll see if we want to add something else yeah yeah so now moving on to our next angle which is tink yeah so I'm probably going to add this fragment showing here and there a little bit a few touches yeah probably here a little again up to you how do you want to so next is the tink so if you want you can take the reference of a grid so I will br just broadly add a square grid this is just for reference we may or may not stick to it so if you find it easier to draw tink this way please start with a grid else you can just place the ops the way you want so probably I'm going to add ops like these they can be big they can be small that's not important the next layer would be in between again the next would be in line with this one the next will be in between take your time slowly first place the orbs that's the basic of the tangle tink and then you can keep connecting slowly go to each yeah so that's how you connect them that's the diamond shape that you have to form in between take your time and slowly do that exercise
keep rotating your tile, it will be easier for you. Yeah, so I am done doing the exercise on one side, I am going to do the same on the other also. So drawing the first layer of orbs. So if you want to add some drama there, you can always ink these orbs. It will instantly add to the look of your tile because of the inking. Yeah. So I'm broadly taking the ref reference of the grid that I have drawn, but not exactly going by it. So let's get started and start to link again. Take your time, slowly connect these orbs with these zigzag lines. Right? So I'm going to do the same. So once you are drawing, uh, you are done with drawing these, connecting these orbs. Now it is optional. If you want, you can connect this ways also. Right? So I'm adding a very fine line there. Right? And probably I may not do it for all. So these lines are thinner. Right? So Probably I'll just skip some in between and do that for some. Like this. But you can do it for all. Or you can add something else in between. Right? So that's entirely up to you. How do you want to go about it? Yeah, so I've done it for a few. And I shall do that on the other side also. Take your time slowly, it's pure line work. looks nice as a background tangle although you can use it any which ways but seeing the nature of it I generally use it as backgrounds yeah so I have done it for a few let's see if we want to add more we shall do that let's now move on to shading so I am first going to shade my lilies, add some graphite on one side, you can shade it the way you want, whichever area you want to highlight some on the mukas, some around the orbs. The pace. Yeah. Let's blend this much first and then we shall see if we want to add more. So spaces are small so just blend only that much as is required. 
don't pull out the graphite too much Take your time, slowly go to each, add some bit of ink, some bit of rounding wherever you can. Small touches here and there. Yeah. So let's keep it to this much as far as the center is concerned yeah moving next to our tink so up to us how do we want to shade it so what I'm going to do probably is shade under these lines Yeah, like this. It's entirely up to you how do you want to go about. I like to highlight the lines, the grid in fact. Like this, yeah, and same I will do but in the opposite direction. Yeah, so blend. Highlight the grid. Yeah, so that stink. Now one thing that you can do because you uh, what I see here is there is some bit of drama that is missing. Yeah. So what we can do here to add that drama is ink some of the sections. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is just pick up some of the sections randomly. And ink them. like this yeah if you want to add something else please go ahead you can add another tangle inside go with what you think will add to the look yeah so I'm just going with some inking here to add some bit of drama to my tile
just randomly picking up sections not thinking much where what yeah so i'm going to do this on the other side also yeah so moving to the other side so i am finished with inking some of the spaces that i felt like i just chose randomly and you can see the drama that it adds to your tile yeah so just touching a few places that i have already shaded and that's about it i think we don't need to do anything else so i'm going to be closing my tile here put your chop and sign and date your tile right so we learned two more new tangles today i shall see you again with a few more new tangles issued by cgts till then have a good time bye bye